Hey, it's Drybear. I just put out a video going over the best settings for Wild Hearts to help improve in performance if you're having performance on PC or any platform. But specifically for PC, I've been messing around for another day to get even better settings that will add on to that video. As well as another trick that actually had a pretty significant increase in performance for me on PC in Wild Hearts. If you found value in this video, leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe for more gaming content and I'll see you in my stream. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. Now, we will refer you to the first video that I posted that goes through all the settings in the game, but I actually did discover another setting that can be useful to you if you are seeing performance issues, and that is going to be under sound. It turns out that if you change the audio style, you got to go audio output from stereo to 7.1, 5.1 surround, it actually works a little bit better on performance. I think there's plenty of sound issues that they've been going through and fixing, and we'll see how that gets sorted out in the first patch that they release. But this does seem to have some improvements for people that swap over the audio. And then the next trick is for anyone that's on PC that is using a, an, an NVIDIA card. You can actually use the NVIDIA control panel to greatly improve your performance on this game, and I'll show you how. And that's done through the NVIDIA control panel. Apologies for the flashbang as we bring this up. But if you do have a GeForce card and you have an NVIDIA set up, you can actually just open NVIDIA control panel. It is just called exactly that. Uh, with this icon. So you're going to open up the control panel and you'll be greeted with this screen. What's important about this is going to be in the top left here. Look down the 3D settings category down to manage 3D settings. You can click on this. It'll bring up managing 3D settings for specific programs. It'll default to the global settings uh, tab here. Uh, we can see this right here. Tab over to program settings on this side. And then you'll actually want to go and find the app for Wild Hearts and add it. So you can actually go to your Steam location, wherever it's located, uh, in Steam apps or wherever, find it and click add. Once you have this added, you'll want to be make sure that it's selected here in your program list to customize. And there's two settings that you want to change that will have a hopefully a big impact on performance. Many people have said it worked and it did work for me as well. The first one is going to be power management mode. So you just have to make sure that Wild Hearts is selected here. Go down to this uh, little drop down on this little list, scroll all the way down until you see power management mode, and then go over here and hit prefer maximum performance. And this will tell the NVIDIA control panel to focus on performance rather than trying to manage power management or anything else. Whatever it takes to get maximum performance, do that. And it did have a pretty important impact. And the second one is going to be threaded optimization. You actually want to turn this off. This setting specifically allows uh, multiple CPUs, so that threads between the two CPUs, it actually has optimization options for that. But until we get a bottlenecking fix for the game right now, having this on will actually make it worse. So you can, you can go and you can force this setting to be off um, and rather than auto. So threaded optimization off, and then power management mode, prefer maximum performance, and then just you can have this saved here, close your game, relaunch it, jump back into game, and with those settings specifically, you should have a pretty improved performance for the game on PC, as well as the settings that I had mentioned in the first video. So hopefully this helps you out in getting the game to reform. I think the game is awesome. I'm having a blast with it. Uh, super cool, but obviously the performance issues on PC and PS5 have been a, a bit of a bummer, and it looks like they are working on having some fixes for that. So as always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.